Buenos días, clase. Hoy vamos a hablar de los adjetivos. We're going to be talking about the adjectives. So, adjectives usually modify a noun. And in Spanish, adjectives will be feminine or masculine, singular and pl plural, depending on which noun they're modifying. So, let's take a look. So, los adjetivos tienen género, femenino, masculino, y número, singular and plural. So, all adjectives in Spanish can be singular or plural, and many of them are feminine or masculine. So let's take a look. So if you have an adjective that ends in O, usually it has a feminine form that ends in A. Okay? For example, alto means tall. How do you make it feminine? Alta. So if you're describing a tall, tall girl, you have to say ella es alta. But if you're describing a tall boy, you will say él es alto. Anything that ends in E will be the same for feminine. It doesn't change. Like inteligente means intelligent. Él es inteligente. Ella es inteligente. It does not change. Anything that ends in ista, for example, optimista, uh, means optimist, uh, is the same for masculine and feminine. You could never say optimisto. Okay? You have to say él es optimista. Ella es optimista. What happens if it ends in a consonant? The rules vary. For example, if it ends in a consonant here, difícil is the same for masculine and feminine. Difícil. Liberal, liberal. But there are some that end in R that have a feminine form. Trabajador means hardworking. Trabajadora, a female who's hardworking. Okay? So you have feminine and masculine. Uh, and for the most part, if it ends in a consonant, does not change, but there will be some that will change like this. Trabajador, trabajadora. Like hablador, habladora. Talkative will be hablador, and female talkative, habladora. So, however, if the words end in R and is comparing a quantity, remains the same for both. So, for example, mayor means older or higher in number. So, uh, mayor will be el número es mayor, which means the number is higher, or la señora es mayor. El señor es mayor. They don't change. Because it's referring to quantity of age and quantity, quantity in numbers. Menor is younger, younger or smaller in number. So, el número es menor means the number is smaller. El señor o... Oh, Let's say, el señor es menor que la señora. So, the man is younger than the lady. So, it will be the same menor for feminine and masculine. So, where is the placement of the adjective? The adjective usually goes after the noun in Spanish. So, if you have a pretty house here, house is the noun and pretty is the adjective. In English, it comes before the noun. In Spanish, it will go after the noun. So we say, una casa bonita. So you're literally saying, a, a house pretty. A rich man, you have to say, a man rich. So, un hombre rico. So make sure you switch the, the, this, um, the noun and the adjective in placement. So the adjective, it goes after, after. So if you want to say a red car, you have to say, un carro rojo. So rojo, red goes after the car. Uh, how do you make plural? If it ends in a vowel, you add an S. And if it ends in a consonant, you add an ES. So alto becomes altos. Alta becomes altas. Inteligente has only two forms. Inteligente, inteligentes. Optimista, optimistas. Only two forms whenever they end in ista. Difícil, difíciles. If it ends in a consonant, we have two forms. Huh? So if you have right here, you have to say a uh, difficult exam. Difícil o difíciles? The answer is difícil because it's singular. Unas chicas inteligentes o inteligente? The answer will be inteligentes. Y un chico alto o alta? It will be alto because chico is a guy. Do you see that? So it's matching if it's singular, if it's plural, or if it's masculine or feminine. So let's review some adjectives now, okay? 
vocabulario de adjetivos. Él es alto. Ella es baja. I'm using the feminine form because she's short. It's a she and this is a he, so alto. That's Shaquille O'Neal and his wife, huh? They have a big height difference. Jennifer Lopez is bonita. Gollum is feo. Simpático. El perro es simpático. He's nice. Este perro es antipático. He's not nice, huh? He looks grumpy. So, simpático is nice. Antipático is not nice. Gordo. El oso es gordo. Y este venado. Creo que es venado. Is it a deer? I don't know. Maybe there's another name. Es delgado. Gordo, fat, delgado, skinny. Grande. Los elefantes son grandes. Este bebé elefante es pequeño. ¿Okay? Elefantes grandes y un elefante pequeño. Difícil. Este problema es difícil. Este problema es fácil. Esta oveja es mala. Oveja. La oveja. Esta oveja es buena. Ella es rubia, ella es pelirroja y ella es morena. So, rubia, blonde. Pelirroja, red-haired. Y morena would be brunette, but also could mean somebody who has a dark skin. So, if you want to say, he's tall, dark, and handsome, you have to say, él es alto, moreno, y guapo. Joven, young. But when you make it plural, jóvenes has an accent. So, no accent in the singular form, accent on the plural form, jóvenes. So, ellas son jóvenes. Ella es mayor. We use the word old for people, mayor, which means older in age. We use viejo o vieja for things. So, if you ever call a person vieja, ella es vieja, you're trying to offend her and she's going to be very mad at you. So, you have to say, ella es mayor. Mi abuela es mayor. And then for things, el carro es viejo. So always be polite and use mayor for people and viejo en vieja for things. Trabajador. El perro es trabajador. Este perro es perezoso. Perezoso, lazy. Trabajador, hardworking. Es un perro policía ¿eh? y es trabajador. Inteligente y tonto. Él es tonto y él es inteligente. Es de pinky and the brainy. Entonces aquí inteligente y tonto. Ok, ¿cómo es físicamente él, Leonardo DiCaprio? ¿Y cómo es de personalidad? Físicamente means physically. So you're describing the physical description. Eh, y personalidad could be personality or everything else that falls outside of the physical description. Entonces físicamente él es guapo, rubio, alto, tiene ojos azules. De personalidad, él es talentoso, inteligente y serio. Um, so, because he's a male, if you notice, talentoso, serio, guapo, alto, rubio. Ojos azules, doesn't matter who has the eyes, eyes are always masculine, ojos. So, if you had ojos, uh, I don't know, the adjective will always be uh, in the masculine form, even a woman, if, if a woman has those eyes, because ojos are masculine. So that's how you describe people. If he was a female, I would say guapa, alta, rubia, talentosa, and seria. Inteligente wouldn't change, so it will remain the same because it ends in E. Okay? Just keep practicing. That's it for now. Bye.